Is Eritrea the North Korea of Africa? A question that might stir your curiosity. Nestled in the Horn of Africa, Eritrea is a nation shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Its political climate is as hot and unpredictable as its desert terrain, ruled by a single party since its independence. Over the next few minutes, we'll uncover nine shocking facts about this enigmatic land. Facts that might just change your perception of this isolated nation. Buckle up as we delve into the hidden truths of this enigmatic nation. Eritrea, a nation under a single party rule. Imagine a country where only one political party, the People's Front for Democracy and Justice, has the reins of power. This isn't a scene from a dystopian novel, it's Eritrea's reality since it gained independence in 1993. Elections, a cornerstone of democracy, are a distant memory here. The last ballot was cast over three decades ago. The absence of an electoral process raises serious questions about the nature of governance, a democracy or a dictatorship, you decide. Imagine a life with an indefinite military service. In Eritrea this is a stark reality. Every citizen upon reaching 18 is conscripted into the military. This service initially intended for 18 months, often extends indefinitely cutting deep into personal lives, dreams, and aspirations. Many find themselves serving the nation not for a few years, but for decades, caught in a relentless cycle of duty and obligation. A lifetime of service, with no end in sight. What if your voice could land you in trouble? In Eritrea, freedom of speech is a luxury few can afford. The state keeps a tight leash on the media, dictating what can and cannot be said. This control extends to every facet of information dissemination, from news broadcasts to social media. Eritrea's stranglehold on its media landscape has earned it a notorious ranking on the World Press Freedom Index, consistently placing it at the very bottom. In Eritrea, silence is golden. A capital city, eerily quiet. Immerse yourself in the peculiar silence of Asmara, the capital of Eritrea, a place where the humdrum of city life is conspicuously absent when the sun sets. The city's limited nightlife, a stark contrast to the bustling capitals across the globe, only amplifies the quiet. The hush that engulfs the city after dark, coupled with the deserted streets, paints an uncanny picture. A city that seems to whisper tales of its own. This is Asmara, the ghost capital. Internet, a luxury or a basic right. In Eritrea, it's the former. With one of the lowest internet penetrations in the world, surfing the web isn't just a click away. Stringent restrictions are in place, limiting the digital horizon of the people. Information is heavily censored, social media is a foreign concept, and the digital divide is ever-widening. The internet, a tool for global connection and freedom of information, is in Eritrea, ironically, a tool of control. In Eritrea, the web is a web of restrictions. Welcome to the land of secret prisons. In Eritrea, whispers echo of covert penitentiaries hidden from the prying eyes of the world, Unconfirmed yet persistent reports speak of rampant human rights abuses, with detainees held indefinitely without trial. International organizations including Amnesty International, have raised alarms, citing numerous sources and survivors. Yet the Eritrean government denies these allegations, shrouding the truth in a cloak of silence. So we ask, is this justice or just ice-cold fear? Where leaving your country could mean risking your life. Every year, Thousands of Eritreans make the desperate decision to escape their homeland. Despite the treacherous journey they brave the turbulent waters, inhospitable terrains and hostile borders. Faced with indefinite military service, no freedom of speech and life under a one-party rule, these individuals risk everything to seek a better life. It's a testament to the human spirit, an undeniable yearning for freedom that drives them to face such perils. A perilous journey for the promise of freedom. A war that the world seems to have forgotten. The Eritrea-Ethiopia conflict, a brutal war fought from 1998 to 2000, claimed the lives of tens of thousands. It left Eritrea economically crippled, its people traumatized and its infrastructure in ruins. Yet, it is seldom mentioned in global discussions. It's as if the world turned a blind eye to Eritrea's suffering, to the scars etched deep within the nation's psyche. A forgotten war that left an indelible mark. Eritrea, a nation shrouded in mystery and controversy. We've journeyed through its one-party rule, indefinite military service, and restrictions on speech and media. We've explored the ghost capital, the lack of internet freedom, the secret prisons, the desperate escape attempts, and the forgotten war. These nine shocking aspects of Eritrea's governance and culture paint a haunting picture. Is Eritrea the North Korea of Africa? The answer, layered with complexity, isn't straightforward. 
it lies ultimately in the eyes of the beholder.